Sure is fun. What a day this is. I'll tell you, with a turnout like this, I'm beginning to feel we might win tomorrow. What do you think? Gosh. You know, uh, I know the speaker's not real happy. Speaker Gingrich. He's, he's not feeling very excited these days. He's, I know, it's sad. Uh, he's been flailing around a bit, trying to go after me for one thing or the other. And you just watch it and you shake your head. It's, uh, it's been kind of uh, painfully revealing uh, to watch. But uh, I think the reason he isn't doing so well is because of those last two debates, don't you think? He, he said he didn't do well in the first debate because uh, the crowd was so quiet. And... Uh, Made him hard. And then the second debate, he said he didn't do well because the crowd was so loud. So I guess he just kind of had it just right. I think the real reason he didn't so, do so well is that people had the chance to, to hear the different candidates and hear their different views, and they heard something they hadn't known. And that was that he'd made $1.6 million in his company standing up and talking about Freddie Mac, made money from Freddie Mac, the very institution that helps stand behind the huge housing crisis. And here in Florida, if you're part of the housing crisis, you're probably not going to get elected like president. So the people here in Florida said, we're not going to get behind Newt Gingrich, we're going to get behind Mitt Romney. And I want to say thank you to you for your help.